Welcome to the webinar. I'm Dr. Darrell Hestelin. Did you know that most people have the wrong primary focus for their retirement plan? In fact, they may not even include this in their retirement plan. In this webinar, I will reveal that number one primary focus that you need to have. Regardless of your age, you should start today. I will reveal three factors that determine the outcome, and I will give you solutions for each of those factors to help you make it happen. If you stay with me to the end, there are bonuses that give you a jump start in getting your plan going. This is the most important information I have ever given in a webinar, lecture, or seminar. I am so glad you're here. Let's get started. In this webinar, I will lead you through a different thought process than most people ever take. In fact, practically no one thinks of it this way. But it's so critical for you to secure a joyful retirement and protect your greatest asset, your health. See, what are your plans? Are your plans for travel and relaxation, going to the places that you couldn't while you were working or places you have been and really enjoyed? Or spending more time with your family? Like most, you have grandkids. And that is a very important thing for our retirement. But it's important that you look at and avoid losing your nest egg to medical expenses. See, in retirement, we must have a retirement plan, a clear vision of your goals for income and lifestyle, a solid investment plan, a broker you trust and understands your goals, regular and consistent savings. And this is not the most important factor. What is missing? It's your health. See, the gap that can become a sinkhole. This can destroy two major factors of your vision. Illness can suck up the dollars that you saved. Your nest egg can be lost in medical bills, deductibles, and non-covered costs. And the way things are going, the deductibles are higher and less is covered. And even if you or your spouse recover, the quality of life can be much different and limited. I have seen this so many times in my patients in over 40 years of practice that planning must include the health aspect. Epigenetics is a key factor, and I will explain that to you. So to protect your greatest asset, your health, and I think everyone will agree with you that that is the most important. People have lost their money and gained it back again. You lose your health not too often, especially at the retirement age, do you gain your health and total vitality back again. So today you'll discover what gives security to your retirement plans. Stay with me to the end and you'll see over $200 in bonuses that can be yours and also a surprise. But stay with us to the end. I will also share three critical factors and the solutions that you need so that you can start to make your future healthier today and for tomorrow. And just really have joy in retirement. So shut off your email your Skype, your cell phone, so that you can get as much as possible from what I'm going to share with you today. And pen pencil and paper would be very appropriate. Hi, I'm Dr. Darrell Hestelin. I've had over 35 years, actually about 40 years of clinical practice. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I'm board certified in applied kinesiology, or I like to refer to it as functional neurology and acupuncture. Uh, I've been a postgraduate instructor for doctors for many years. I'm a lecturer, an author, and a blogger, a fitness coach, and a health coach. And also, the most important, I'm a husband, father, and a papa. Now, let's take a look at your dreams. What is it about you? And I hope you have pencil and paper ready. You know, what do you want in retirement? This is critical that you've clearly defined what you expect to do and have in retirement. You know, what do you want more of? What do you want less of? And that's really important as well. So do you have a specific plan for your health? This is where most people fall short. And I want to help you secure those dreams and to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Now it starts today. You can make a big difference whether you're 35 or 65 or older. It's so important that you make these changes so that you can preserve your health. 
Chronic disease is one of those things that steals your dreams, your wants, and your desires because it's subtle and sneaky. The subtle changes that people experience and attribute to aging, yeah, not necessarily. These signs and symptoms are really the beginning of disease. And many diseases start years before you have any idea. The biggest cause of chronic disease is the breakdown or epigenetics. Now how this steals your wants and dreams, you may have joint and muscle pain, that's not normal, other than temporary and short term. You know, fatigue, that's not normal or is persistent and, and frequent. Headaches, allergies, digestive problems, blood pressure, poor sleep, weight gain, wrinkles. This can affect one of the factors of your epigenetics. Now protecting your greatest asset is so important and you'll hear that and read that several times, but that's so important. You know, how you would identify and act for your health today will determine your health and retirement. See, it's not just knowing what to do, it's the behavior determines your outcomes. And this is a great saying, what you do today can improve all of your tomorrows. Now there's a myth of genetic control. It's a common belief is that your genes determine your health and disease. Admit that that's what you've been thinking or you at least have been told many times. Now your genetic expression. See, previously science explained genes and genetics as one gene equals one result. I used to teach biology and that was the common theme. Today, political and economic forces want you to believe that, that your genes control your health status. And the truth is less than 1% of your of diseases are caused by your genes, less than 1%. Now, if you have an inherited disease, you know, that's, that's a factor. But that you've inherited some trait or tendency for that, not true. This makes you feel helpless and dependent on the medical authority and the government for your well-being. How many people get emotionally excited about a cure for something? The best cure is to not get it. And that is within your empowered capabilities. See, from the Human Genome Project, where they studied all the human genes and mapped them out, they found that we have over 100,000 plus of proteins that are building blocks in your human body. And yet we have only about 25,000 genes. How does that work? If it's one gene, one effect, or epigenesis. This gen generally refers to the genetic expression as influenced by the environment of the cell the internal cell, the building block of your body. So in this, we now know that epigenesis, or what genes produce, is determined by three factors. And these are the three bullet points, the key factors that I want you to come away with today. One is cellular toxicity. This can come from many forms, and you can be self-inflicted with this, but much of it is just there because it's in our environment. Secondly, cellular nutrition. You must give the cells nutrition they can use. Now what's in the blood doesn't mean you're getting it into the cells. It has to be able to cross the cell membrane so that your cells can use it for energy. And third, your emotions. Primarily how you handle stress and negativity. You know, so seeing wrinkles can give you a negative aspect and if you focus on that, that's not good for your health. Research has documented negative activity increases health problems. So let's take a look. Healthy cells make a healthy body. So this is just a diagram of a cell. Not any particular type of cell. They have many different shapes and forms, but they have the same structures, the same common structures. So the cells need water. There's about two billion water molecules that flow in and out of a cell every second. Yeah, that's two B, billion with a B. And you need enzymes to trigger the reactions. You need vitamins to provide the, the stimulus for the reactions to occur, and then the minerals and the nutrients, the fats, the proteins, and the carbohydrates that give you the calories, and the free flow of oxygen and water. Now oxygen is a critical factor, and I'll be talking to you, but that's a critical key factor in reducing your risk of cancer. Now eating while stressed is one of the most common things we see. I watch it if, when we eat out that people are, you know, they just wolf down their food. And if you're eating under stress, it's going to give you poor digestion. Whether the stress is the kids acting up at the meal, uh, a squabble with your spouse, 
the boss was a bear all day, the traffic coming home was terrible, or just stuff that happens, life happens. And if you're upset, you need to eat slowly and easily digested foods. But that poor digestion will give you toxic byproducts and that will greatly influence your cells, especially if it's frequently occurring, like for so many people. And poor absorption. You know, the difference in the stress from having that happen with your life and the caveman sitting with a saber-toothed tiger growling in the woods by his fire, same thing. The body responds the same. The blood shunts from the digestive system to the muscles for the fight or flight response. So you feel lousy, you have less energy and less healing because you're not getting the nutrients from the food that you're eating. Really equals degrading of your health. In the seven steps for your healthy belly brain, in an ebook that I've written, toxins are an important factor in each step. So there are multiple factors that can affect the toxic buildup or the toxic removal. Now in your immune system, there are inflammation triggers. Now we know that inflammation is a key factor in heart disease, stroke, cancer, and many other all uh, muscle and joint pain. So these inflammation triggers oftentimes are subtle. It can be a silent inflammation you're not aware of and it gradually builds up in this chronic disease situation. Things that trigger this are drugs, synthetic and isolate vitamins because the body can't use them and they become toxic to the system. Toxic metals and environmental chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, adulterated oils, the refined, purified, almost every oil in the grocery store is of this nature. They're clear, they look so pure, but that's the problem. They have been so purified, they're no longer functional. And gluten. Now gluten is a factor for a number of people and the wheat today is much more active in, in the gluten, the gliadin and the gluten. However, if you have the other aspects balanced and limit your gluten, it's probably not gonna be a factor for most people. And most people eating a gluten-free diet are really loading up on the carbs and that's not a good factor either. So you have to be very smart if you have a gluten sensitivity. There are so many frankenfoods, foods that have been processed and put together and chemicals added. Uh, there's a winter tomato that they're trying to inject, and they probably have by now, a cockroach gene to give it a tougher skin so it can be transported without bruising. Other things that we have, all of these different products, petroleum esters, ammonia, hydrochloric acid, all of these things that are involved in the manufacture of our vitamin supplements. And they're not made from food. Take a look at the chart. Uh, look at this one, B1. Thiamine mononitrate or hydrochloride or thiamine chloride, coal tar derivatives and ammonia. The natural sources, rice bran, barley grass, and I'll share with a story in just a minute about this. And it really has been a, a wonderful factor for me in my long-term study of nutrition. B2, riboflavin, look at that, extracted from corn waste with acetic acid and methanol. Uh, B3, or niacin, niacin or niacinamide, coal tar derivatives, ammonia, formaldehyde. And this is the same for all of these. Here's another aspect of this. B6, again, hydrochloric acid uh, treating petroleum esters and formaldehyde. Uh, vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is commonly accepted as vitamin C. However, ascorbic acid is only one-eighth of a vitamin C molecule. So it has some drug-like effects and high doses does some things for us and less toxic than drugs. However, it is not a complete nourishing, building, healing form of vitamin C from fermented corn treated with hydrochloric acid and acetone. Whereas when you get it from your fruits, your citrus fruit, your blackberries, you know, cranberries, acerola cherries, rose hips, red peppers are high in vitamin C. And you can look through the rest of the products. Uh, vitamin E as well. If you have D-alpha tocopherol, you're only getting one-eighth of a vitamin E molecule. So you need a whole mix of tocopherols and they need to be treated at a low point so they have all the cofactors that are in the foods. Now, when they have enriched foods, what are they enriched with? What have you been eating? Synthetic vitamins and minerals is what they're enriched with. For example, thiamine hydrochloride or, or thiamine mononitrate is most commonly in our breads and so many other products. The calcium carbonate is actually limestone, very poorly absorbed. So when they make flour, for example, they mill out 20 plus 
vitamins and minerals, add three vitamins and iron, and call it enriched. One fellow once said, if somebody steals $100 from you and gives you $10 back, have you been robbed or enriched? So our enriched flowers are really deficient in so many nutrients. Now there's a myth of synthetic vitamins. If you'd listen to the advertisements and one a days or they look like they should be just the answer to everything and fill our void. There's a problem and this story will help illustrate what that problem is. During the Korean War, the prisoners were, um, had a medical officer with them and they developed beriberi or B1 deficiency. And the doctor was able to get synthetic thiamine hydrochloride from the Red Cross and gave it to the prisoners. No one responded. They still had the symptoms. But the Korean guard said, use rice polish. That's the polish they, when they mill the rice and get the white rice. So he got a packet of this powder and he was giving the soldiers one teaspoon a day. And within a week, all the symptoms of beriberi were gone. See, a tiny amount of a little bit of the full organic food versus the commercial synthetic made a huge difference. And I've known about this story for probably 35 years. And it always kind of troubled me, but we just didn't have good available sources of nutrients that would fill that void. And I sold commercial vitamins, uh, the, the, the best that were available for 35 years. I quit four years ago. In 2012, I took my last synthetic vitamin. Four months later, about a 30-year condition of irregular heartbeat, gone, healed. And since then, I've had one time I was exposed to some synthetics and the irregular heartbeat came back. After quitting for about two months, straightened out, I have no skips in my heartbeat anymore. So that's been a critical factor for me personally, but it makes sense from what we know from, and there's many studies that document this. And in fact, there's a book called Supplements Exposed by, from the Hippocrates Institute that documents much of this. The World Health Organization in 1992 reported on North American soils. 85% were depleted of trace minerals. Now trace minerals aren't real abundant in our bodies, but they're extremely important. And so if our soils are being depleted because of our commercial fertilizers and, and pushing the crops and all of that sort of thing, it's, it's the demise of our country. And this is what worldwide that there's so much depletion of the soils. Now the myth of current blood tests they can measure and say, oh, you're fine. Well, measuring vitamins in your blood, what does that mean? What are they measuring? Well, they're measuring the vitamins they're probably giving you. They measure the synthetic forms, and even if the synthetic form matches the natural form of the molecule, it is missing all of the cofactors. Nobel Prize of 1999 study showing that the proteins and the cofactors in the cell actually were necessary, or like an address label, to get the vitamins and minerals across the cell membrane into the cell to go to the right place so the body can use them. So that's so critical. That is definitely not made in a test tube. And if they take and extract it from a food, they extract it and they pull out the vitamin molecule, but not the cofactors. So unless you can condense it down to have a concentrate of the food without destroying that cofactor, you don't have a, a, a great nutritional source for the body. So what's being measured actually are the vitamins that are in the blood. And it's like what goes by in your street or through the cities, uh, highways of your city, doesn't mean that it gets into your city. I know we live close to an interstate and there's all kinds of stuff that goes through there that never gets into our town. That's, it's just not there. So that's what's the, the, a good analogy to what's going on in the blood. So if it's an isolated vitamin or a whole complex, that is the difference. So synthetics or isolates are lacking these critical cofactors. Yes, a healthy body can make some of them, but not all of them. Not all of the vitamin will get that, and then the, what's left over is toxic and has to be excreted. Now what does this mean about your vitamin status? Well, the blood tests as done, you have to measure the cellular function, which is a much more expensive testing, but that is what would tell you if your body is functioning well. So in the United States now, 78% of U.S. families are now buying organic food. Now the organic, and you saw that in a little bit in, in the last slide, but they're showing more tests than organics 
are significantly more nutritious and provide better fa health factors for the people that buy organic. It's definitely worth the money. Four in 10 are buying more organic than a year ago. It can really reduce or eliminate the pesticides, herbicides, hormones, and the GMO. Now why? It's for the healthier me and my children, for you and your children. You want to be able to give them the best health possible. See, whole foods for the whole body provide the antioxidants. They provide the, the nutrients for energy. They support joint health and heart health, support your immune system and digestion. It's so critical there that now we're seeing there are a number of bacteria that are resistant to every known antibiotic. We have to have a solid immune system. All living things want to survive. And if you keep a healthy immune system, your body can adapt and attack these foreign substances and adjust to them and develop an antibiotic from within our bodies to destroy them. An antibiotic that's in a shot or a pill, that's it. It can't change, it can't mutate, it can't adapt. But your body's immune system can adapt to many of these. And you need to detox so it does not interfere with the normal cellular function. Now what I found four years ago were products made by Touchstone Essentials. And they fit into this process of all natural, processed at 106 degrees or less, so it does not denature any of the whole foods, and it's just a whole food concentrate. And you'll see that as we go through. Our biggest threat, you have to reduce your toxicity. Everybody would agree with that. Any intelligent person that looks at our health knows that we need to reduce our toxic exposure, our toxic body burden. Whether it's coming from agricultural spraying or from uh, environmental toxins from the uh, manufacturing processes. Now here's an interesting quote that came across from the American Congress of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Reducing exposure to toxic environmental agents is a critical area of intervention intervention for obstetricians and gynecologists and other reproductive health professionals. There's a book, but it talks about how all these toxins can sterilize our whole generation of the whole human race. And we could be eliminated just because of toxic involvements and prevention of fertilization. Now that's a far flung case. However, if we continue at the rate we're going, it's not such a, a long shot. Patient exposure to environmental toxic chemicals and other stressors is ubiquitous. In other words, it's all over, it's everywhere. And the preconception and prenatal exposure to toxic environmental agents have a profound and lasting effect on reproductive health across the life course. Studies have shown that it's passed on from to four generations. See, the neurodevelopment impairment that's caused by these toxins causes huge financial loss costs over a lifetime. And it greatly impacts, I and mean, you start wondering about all the autism cases now and all these other learning imp impairments. How much of that is related to our toxic environment? They don't study that. Every day we are exposed to more and ingest more toxins than we can naturally remove. And as we age, this toxic burden increases. Now remember, this is one of the three factors critical to genetic expression. Then the neurofunctional impairment, again, I'm just repeating this, causes a huge financial cost in later life, unless you can do something to reduce your toxic body burden. What well, we've found, mineral, it's called a small particle zeolite, to attract the heavy metals and many chemicals, traps them and then is flushed out through the kidney. It's a negative charge mineral, and you'll see a diagram of, uh, to illustrate how this works. But in this case, we've taken it through tuned sound waves, the clinoptilolite, or that form of zeolite that is safe and effective is placed inside water molecule structures. So it gets inside the cell because it comes in through the water molecules. And remember, two billion water molecules per second flow in and out of a cell. So if we can put the zeolite in there, we get it inside the cell and help detoxify. So this is the one, it's a unique, it's called Pure Body Extra Strength. It reaches the cells via the water and ion channels, cleanses for cellular performance. It's exclusive technology, the only Touchstone has this. Nano-sized particles give a greater surface area to attract toxins. So it, the, the greater the surface area, of course, the more it can pick up. 
and it doesn't force your body to dump toxins. It traps them and flushes them out so you don't get the, the toxic dump and the toxic reactions. It's third-party tested. It's published on their website. Every time they do a batch, it's published and verified that it is what we say it is. Four sprays, three times a day. It's 100% absorbed into your bloodstream. And then there's a the pure body drops. This has an average particle size of 0.3 microns. That's the size that needs to cross the blood-brain barrier. Or not the blood-brain barrier, but the uh, intestinal membranes. And so the smaller the particles are absorbed for systemic detox, it gets into the bloodstream. Now the spray is 100% into the bloodstream, but this one, about half goes into the blood and about half stays in the digestion to de detoxify chemicals that are in the de digestive tract, which then reduces the inflammation quantity or uh, aspect of it to the intestinal wall. That is very important. Irritable bowel syndrome and leaky gut syndrome, which is the underlying cause of most uh, autoimmune conditions and many allergies, this really can be helpful to reduce that inflammation and let the intestinal walls thicken up again so it filters and prevents the absorption of many molecules that should never get across the intestinal wall. And again, a proprietary process of cleaning and, the, and particle sizing so that there's no lead and mercury, which is normally found in this, but that is cleaned out so it has an empty cage, if you will, to absorb the toxins. Third party tested again. And the dose of this is four drops three times a day. Now here's how this can work. One of the critical factors, this is an ATP molecule. This is our energy source. And that's throughout our body. And what happens is that between the third, second and third phosphate molecule, adenosine triphosphate, there's a huge energy bond. And when that's broken, that's released, and that gives us the energy of life. Heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, mercury, arsenic, will block into this receptor site. And when that, the binding site for breaking that molecule is blocked, the normal process can't happen. But the zeolite in its form can come in, trap the heavy metals, and carry them away. And now the magnesium that's necessary to trigger this activity falls in. And now that molecule can be broken, it the molecule goes outside the cell, picks up another phosphate, comes back in, and that process is repeated over and over again. One of the common side effects of taking the pure body is that they have more energy. Now, wouldn't it be nice to live in a world free of the 80,000 chemicals that have been introduced in the past 50 years? 80,000 chemicals. Not all of them are tested on humans. They have an impact on us. It's really, we have a lot that we don't know about. One thing that really helps the pure body and its function are, is chlorophyll. And the super greens, is three capsules are like drinking a, you know, two shots of barley juice a day. Again, it's in a powder, it's in a capsule, it's easy to take, there's no taste to it, and it provides these values. It has, and it's all organic. Organic green vegetables, the nutrition of eight tenths of a pound of broccoli per serving. So three capsules has a nutritional equivalent of eight tenths of a pound of broccoli. There's also parsley, barley grass, spinach, and the chlorophyll from the greens acts as a great boost to help in the intestinal detoxification that we benefit from so much. And there's also digestive enzymes for the carbohydrate, fat, and protein digestion, and including lactase for milk digestion. There's probiotics, 1.23 billion colony forming units. This is a great support on a daily basis. 1,000 units of vegetarian vitamin D, as the mushrooms in the product are exposed to high intense sunlight for a short period of time before harvest, they generate an organic vitamin D that has been shown to be just as effective as any other form to build up the vitamin D that we need for so many factors of our immune system. And the beta-glucans from the mushrooms also are a strong supporter of the immune function. They don't do the work. They stimulate and support our body to do the work. And the complete vitamin mineral complexes from these organic foods is what your cells can use. It's like giving the doctor within you a smorgasbord so they can pick and choose what they need when they need it. So if you add the cost of taking supplements for enzymes, probiotics, vitamin D, and the cost of three pounds of a broccoli, you know, of course, eat your vegetables and whole foods. It's so important to eat a good diet too. This doesn't, isn't designed to replace and just live on junk and then take this, although that would be helpful, but it's still not going to give you the health that you want. The value of super greens is less than a dollar and a half a day. 
and uh, the cost of providing the benefits if you can find the properly processed organic foods would be at least five or six dollars a day. So remember, protecting your greatest asset, your health. This is what this is about. So there's an essential antioxidant, and this is called essentials. We know that the antioxidants protect the telomeres. These are the tails on your DNA. They get shorter as you get older. The antioxidants actually prevent the shortening and delay that. So it's an anti-aging food as well. But this is sort of, this would be a, the multiple vitamin mineral because there are 27 different fruits and vegetables. You get 33 servings of that. And so this is so important to get that nutritional antioxidant support for your body because it's not always, I eat well, but it's difficult to get it all the time. And as we get older, sometimes we just don't, uh, don't eat everything or we can't without gaining weight. And so we all know that eating fruits and vegetables is healthy but the size of the effect is staggering when you don't get it, you don't have a full supply of these nutrients. The clear message is that it's more fruits and vegetables you eat, the less likely you are to die at any age. So there's an anti-aging factor to just eating and, and getting all of these nutrients. So these are organic foods are harvested at the peak nutrition and cold processed to preserve all of the goodness that's in the Earth's bounty. You know, one serving has 27 different fruits and vegetables and there's about 33 servings of those in three capsules. There's a green energy product to help give natural support to your immune system or your energy system. So you think of this as a green fuel for your body. The increase of the oxygen flow means more energy. You get more oxygen to the cells and that's critical in preventing uh, cancer and in just having more energy. It's a natural energy from a decaffeinated green tea extract that helps burn fat and a proteolytic enzyme. In other words, the protein enzymes keep the red blood cells flowing freely. Now this is a process. I used to do dark field microscopy in my office and I would see the photo on the left very often. These red blood cells, because of uh, poor diets and, and poor fats, they form a, get a sticky coat and they stick together. And when they stick together like that, it's going to reduce their flow. It's going to reduce the ability to absorb oxygen. And so it's really going to be a detriment to your health. When you get that sticky goo <laughs> cleaned off the outside, they, form, they float freely. And I've seen this happen many times. We used to use some high enzyme concentrations to do that. And we get that with the enzymes in the green energy. And also the essentials and super greens also have digestive enzymes. Their does, intent is to digest food. So green energy is best taken between meals. So those enzymes go in without food uh, a food network and so it can get into the bloodstream and help break down the proteins that are causing the stickiness on the red blood cells. Now here's a real critical factor and I want you to, to pay close attention. There's a, uh, a, I do another webinar just on this alone. But uh, Otto Warburg, uh, MD, PhD, and he's arguably the most brilliant biochemist of all time, back in the 30s won the Nobel Prize showing that a 35% reduction in cellular oxygen is the primary cause of cancers. Pretty much all cancers across the board. So if this lasts for any length of time and they're not reversible, those cells are not reversible. So what should you do? Well, cellular detox detoxification is critical and you need to avoid the inflammatory triggers like sugar and then the processed fats and oils. And that's really a critical factor because the adulterated fats cannot conduct oxygen through the cell membrane. These fats normally sit in the cell membrane and are like oxygen magnets to transmit the oxygen through the cell membrane into the cell. So that's why you need to eat the almonds and walnuts and get pure uh, extra virgin olive oil and use other oils that are low, pr low temperature processed. That's critical. And I checked uh, from studies from uh, University of California where they looked at the different oils and they've been adulterated with uh, soybean and sunflower and canola oils that have been over processed and so the extra virgin olive oil for example has been diluted. There are some good sources but you have to be careful and so check those out. And the, So the green energy helps give you more natural energy by allowing your body to absorb more oxygen, get oxygen to the cells and then when you add the good fats to it, now you can really absorb the oxygen into your cells. 
And of course, ex exercise increases your intake of oxygen and gets the circulation going. So there's a, a benefit to living a good quality of life. So it's your behavior, not just your knowledge. You, you may have a good idea of what to eat and what you should be doing, but are you doing it? It's that behavior that will make a much bigger impact than just knowing it. So Wellspring is one of the products that, that I use on a regular basis. It's a plant-based essential fatty acids. It has a number of things from pumpkin seed, and barrage oil, uh, flaxseed oil, coconut oil. These are the oils that the body can use because it's processed at low temperatures, so it has these apparent essential oils that your body can make all of the other oils that it needs, essential fatty acids, from these parent oils. So this is a critical factor for your heart, your skin, your brain, extremely important. So it's organic plant-based oils providing omega-3, 6, and 9, the essential fatty acids at optimal levels. The PEOs are the parent essential oils. Barrage, flax, pumpkin seed, coconut oil. Joint soothing curcumin. And if you've read anything in the uh, turmeric or the curcumin that's in the turmeric is a very powerful joint soothing. Uh, it has hundreds of different uses in our body and is extremely helpful for the immune system. And there's a broad spectrum antioxidant. Astaxanthin is many, many times more powerful than vitamin C. Now, for those that are overweight, we know that 30% of our, 35% of our population is obese and over 70% is overweight. We need some help with this. And again, just knowing that you need to lose weight doesn't do it. You have to commit and be focused to make the behavior changes. I lost 45 pounds or 40 pounds 45 years ago and I've kept it off. I know the struggle that it can be. This has really helped. If I just start creeping a bit, I take a capsule a day and I may do that for a week or two and, and it just keeps me stabilized. Family members lost 30 pounds using one capsule a day. It increases exercise too, but this, because of what it does, uniquely helps you manage the complexities of the weight loss. Gives it, you want to get that quality of life back because the excess weight is a real problem for the long term. Now, uh, as we look with this, I've got the uh, reverse smiley face on top. Again, the negativity. I don't know many people that are really happy that they're overweight. It's a negative aspect for them. So there's a synergistic blend of powerful ingredients to assist you in losing weight, keeping it off. That's what you want. Why? You know, what is your desire? Is it to look better, to feel better, to get up, get up off the floor with your grandkids? I've heard that uh, reason many times. So the, what is your desire? And then focus on that if you need to lose weight. The joy, the freedom, the peace you will feel when you look in the mirror. And it's also what other people say and say, wow, what happened? What have you been doing? You know, it's, it's that type of thing. I hear that often from people when they've lost weight. So there are five aspects to this. And you can see here, one to boost metabolism, one to fuel endurance, energy metabolism, appetite control, and to help you increase your focus, to stay on track, to, to reduce the temptation. So if you can control appetite, you know, the cupcakes, the donuts, they don't look as appetizing, and you can exercise the behavior you want to live like you want to live. A skin serum is just another thing for people that want to combat wrinkles because it's a skin healer not a plumper or filler like most of the things that can give you quick responses on the market until you quit using them and then the wrinkles come back. So this also is again helps combat that negativity because some people just you know as they age and the wrinkles I know I'm old enough to have lots of wrinkles and, and you probably saw that in the first part of the video so I know that this is an important factor but it really helps heal the skin and that's so critical. So here are the supplements and we take we take all of these because we, um, at our age, uh, don't can't eat all the food that we used to. We're not as active as we used to at one time, and so we don't burn up as much. We want to keep our weight under control, and we do that. And so we use these products to detoxify, to reduce our risk of major disease, especially cancer. I've lost a father, two brothers, and a sister to cancer. Two brother-in-laws. You know, I just, it, it's not a genetic inheritance. It's a factor of the types of foods and the other toxic environments. And we didn't have these products back then because this all happened back in the 80s and 90s. 
So I'm just looking forward to having a, a, a better quality of retirement because I'm taking care of my health and I'm reducing that risk. So now let's take a look at a summary. Three key factors that influence the genetic expression. Cellular toxicity, we need to reduce that. Cellular nutrition, we need to provide the best nutrition we can for the cell. Give that doctor within you all the, all the nutrients that they need, that he or she needs, to nourish your cells to provide the proper response to all the environmental challenges that your body faces. And then the emotions, helping control stress and taking away the negativity. Focus on positive things. But if you can reduce the weight and wrinkles, that's two negative emotions that uh, can be very helpful. So I trust that you see the unique nutrition, nutritional power of the Touchstone products and that there is a huge need for this kind of help for the health of most people. They may look or appear fairly healthy, but how many times have uh, you been surprised that they all of a sudden they have a condition that is serious? And it's that they may have been hiding it or they may have looked good, but they hadn't been taking care of their health the way they should. So to live with radiant and abundant health now and with the security in your retirement. Now that starts today. Understand, your doctor nor your broker, your insurance or the government or the test tube scientists and their synthetic chemicals can make this happen. They can't do it for you. It's up to you to make that behavioral change to take action. Now there are two key questions that we had earlier. What do you want more of in your retirement? more joy, more love, more fun times, more travel, the physical abilities to do that, and the money, of course. And then you have that physical freedom and the time to do it. And what do you want less of in your retirement? Less medication, pain, debt, medical appointments. Those are things that steal your nest egg. So I offer this, knowing that your focus and commitment will help you take charge can you get everything you want from retirement? Doing what you're currently doing. Are you on track to have the maximum benefits? Or could you change, like most people, make some changes? Add the nutrients that your body can really use. Now there's an obvious conclusion here. Security in retirement or life in general is not in the gold. Your health is your greatest asset. Now would it help if your products were at lower cost or free? Uh, you had more income to help reduce the debt give less stress and a better quality to your life. I trust that you understand the core of any successful business is to help other people and have a USP. That's a unique selling position. So I have not found anything that can give me this in, in a usable form like this. The, the pure body, our grandchildren had this uh, before they were born. The mother took that, you know, took it during the nursing to reduce their toxic exposure. Now, if you'd like to join our team just to purchase a product at wholesale or to share with others and get your products free or at a reduced cost, for your better health, first of all, and to help share the critical information, again, help other people, either to get your products free or to build a business, your wants, your needs, your desires, it's up to you. But the bonuses I offer at the end of this webinar will be available for your, for your team members, anybody that you would bring in. And there are webinars like this to share the information. So I promise if you stayed to the end, I would have bonuses. One, I, you know, first of all, I do appreciate your interest in being responsible for living in good health. We don't have a health care crisis in our country. We have a health crisis. Not enough people are being responsible for living and having the behaviors to live the way they should with the ultimate and the, the most and greatest potential for their health. So, for the first bonus, just send me an email at daryl at enjoyhealthnow.com with the subject line pinch test. This is a simple test that I developed from my study of the ancient masters that helps evaluate your second brain. That's all of the nerves below your diaphragm, and there's more nerves there than there are in your head brain, and this is the most critical part. The second brain isn't everything, but everything depends on the second brain. And so there will also be a link to the seven steps for your healthy belly brain. This report will give you quick steps that you can start taking now. And this could save you hundreds of dollars every year in medical expenses. Could even improve your golf game. Wouldn't that be nice?
Now, if you place an order with Touchstone Essentials for $100 or more, just email me your membership number and I will send you my ebook, Seven Steps for a Healthy Belly Brain. There's 70 pages, there's action guides, and much more detail than the report. And this is all the information from a Second Brain membership that I sold for $162. So that is yours for taking action now. Also, you get lifetime membership in the Second Brain News to stay current on important health issues and to help understand what the press is saying or not saying. So many times the headlines are so misleading. And then you read the article and say, well, more study needs to be done. But they've made some huge conclusions. And I, I share this on a weekly basis, uh, email and video, so that you can stay abreast and help get some other insight into what's going on. And this is normally a $120 value as well. So at the end of the webinar, you'll be redirected to my Touchstone site. And you can click Join or click the link below. There's a link below this webinar. You can do that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there's a link in the description box below the video. If you were invited to this webinar by another team member, just get back to them and, and get into their site and, and place the order through them. And still just email me the information and I will get the, the bonuses to you. So click on Join at the redirect or the link below. And let's get started. You know, and you can contact me if you have questions and you want them answered. Just contact me at, and then again, the link to my email address is below the webinar. So for your total health, now and tomorrow, this is Dr. Daryl Hesteland.